What is going on, guys? Welcome back. Uh, not welcome back, because you guys probably never seen this world before. I started this world years ago, and this is my first look back at my Minecraft world since I've seen PewDiePie's series for Minecraft. So I decided to load up my old world that I saved on my computer, and I transferred it to my iCloud account, and I moved the files over to my newly installed Minecraft app. So right now we're going down to the mine and I found the end portal. So when this came out, I don't think it was supported, but they had all the blocks and it spawned in my world. I think I could finally use it. I was going through the cave system. I remember I actually found this live zombie spawner. So I forgot to check it out in this screen recording, but we're gonna do that in the next episode. We're gonna check it out. See if it still works in the current Minecraft update. There's so many new things added to this Minecraft app that weren't in it before when I started the world. Um, so it looks so much more realistic. Uh, the water is looking crisp. I remember when I started playing when the app first came out, back when they used to have Minecraft Lite, uh, which was the free version and the paid version. So you, you already know, I, I was there since the beginning. It looks so plain, so blah. As you can see from my intro clip, that I edited it up. Uh, that was me playing it in 2012, I believe. Major throwback right there. there. It was an update video about the new block, the bookshelf block. And that was the main update. And I was excited just for that. Now they have the sun rising. They have all the mobs. So right here, you can see the pig glitching out. It was running in circles at a million miles an hour. Uh, I think when uh, the map converted to uh, the new Minecraft app, I think the stuff that was already in it, like the mobs or animals, I feel like it was messed up. So right there, I just quit because that zombie was hitting me at a million miles an hour. It's still hitting me. I thought I was gonna die. So right now I'm going back to the house. Crazy things are happening on this world. Hopefully as I play through it, it'll get less <laughs> hectic um, as we go through. Hopefully the new spawned mobs and animals work properly. This was a village that when I started playing, it didn't really spawn correctly, but I fixed it up to look as good as possible. I fixed the trails and everything. So right here is a baby villager. I was gonna kidnap it, not kidnap it, but I was gonna return it to its parents and uh, we we're gonna bring it back. So here we go, did a little time lapse and Unexpectedly, there was like a zombie or something in that water. I think it was a zombie villager. And just because I drove the boat over it, not knowing it was in there, it turned the baby villager into a baby villager zombie. So that's a shame. I'm gonna have to find another one in a future update. So I was going back to, uh, to go in the bed to get rid of the night, spawn creatures. And the creeper exploded just right there. I have to fix that up now and I don't have many dirt blocks left, uh, so I'm gonna have to find some of those. All right, sleeping now. Hopefully no monsters wake me up. And now we're going on a little trip. We're exploring with the boat. We're going out to see if I can find any other places I've been to or any other houses I had. I had a house, oh, that pig just flew into my boat walking a million miles an hour. Another glitch going on. It's gonna be the famous pig from uh, the PewDiePie series. So we're just gonna take it with us. There's a bunch of chickens just swimming about <laughs> in the corner. Uh, doesn't look like much until we reach this area where I was. Ton of torches. I think it leads to a house, I believe. I think this is the place where I went to to get to the village that we were just at. And I think the other way is like the house across the whole ocean. So we found a baby horse right here. Uh, we're trying to bring it back to the village to put it into the farm. It's slowly following the big horse, which I found a saddle in a village that we found. I think it spawned after the fact. Um, I think the blocks, as I explored more out of the world that I was in, since it's infinite, it made a new village. So it's all updated village. They all have trading, which it, which I didn't have in the last update when I last played. Uh, they have a golem in the middle. So I'm gonna fix this place up, even out the trails. 
and uh, hopefully we get some trades going, get some rare items, and uh, yeah, protect the villagers at all costs. We already lost that baby one from the other village that I rebuilt in the old world. So I think we're going to stay here for a while, see what's here, explore some caves, <laughs> steal their items, and uh, yeah, maybe we'll find an empty house and we'll set up our big house in one of the villagers that passed away, unfortunately. So we'll find that in the next episode. Uh, me and the horse, I'm not sure the name of the horse. We were just going to explore some, some of the forest just to see what's around this new village. Uh, hopefully we can find something interesting. It starts getting a little hectic. The monsters are <coughs> spawning. It's getting dark. It's getting late. So we're going back to the village that we just found. This village, it looks so much different than the older versions of the villages. Uh, it just looks totally different. All right, guys. That is it for this episode, and I'll see you guys in the next video. It's going to be a live commentary. No face record, though. All right. Peace.